again. Welcome back to Eclipse and Java for Total Beginners. Congratulations, we're almost done. We have a few more methods to write to complete our My Library class. The first two are fairly simple and very similar. Let's work on the Get Available Books first. This method will return a list of all books that are not currently checked out. So we'll open up our project and open up the My Library Test class, maximize the window, and we're going to go down to the end of the class and make sure we get the method between the curly braces there. And then it's public, void, test, get, available, books, and then we're going to be able to copy code. So we're going to copy the setup and the uh, get add items line. And then we're going to copy the line to create the test array, and of course we need to change that. Instead of get books for person, we need to say get available books. This will be our new method. And it doesn't exist yet. Let's use Code Assist right now to create the method, so then Eclipse will know about it, and then we can validate it as we go. So we're going to flip over and flip back. So now we've got our test books created. We're going to be able to create this method by copying a lot of code from the method above. We're going to copy these two assert statements. The first one just says that the size of the test books will be 2 when we start, and that book B2 will be in position 1, which remember is the second position. So we're just confirming our starting positions that all the books are available. So now we're going to check out book 1 to person 1, and we can copy that from the method above. Then we need to set our test books array again, so we'll copy that from where we created it above. And now we can copy these two assert equals statements from the method above, because again we're going to, we expect one element in the list. So now we're going to check out the second book, just like we did above, so we'll copy that line. We're going to reset the test books array to get available books. And then we're going to copy the assert equals, but this time we're going to assert that it equals zero. So now we'll save our method. Now after the first checkout, we can see we've got a problem, because we checked out book B1, but we're saying book B1 is still on the list, so we need to fix that. So we'll change book B1 to book B2, because we checked out book B1, so book B2 should still be on the list. Next, let's write the method in the My Library class. So we start the method by declaring a new array list of type book. We'll call it result. Then we're going to do a for each loop, so we go for control space and select the for each option book, and we'll call it a book as the local variable, and we're going to loop through the this get books list, and then for each book we're going to say if a book get person equals, and it's two equal signs of course, null, then we're going to do this block of code, and this block of code is just, we're going to add result.add a book, so we're going to add this book to the list. Then we're going to come out of the for each loop, and then just return result. So this method is very similar, and a little simpler than the method we did before, get books for person, because all we're doing here is a single check to see if the person is null, then we add. Otherwise, if there's any person in there, we don't add it to the available books list. So now we'll run all our tests and see how we did. So we'll go to the all tests, run as, JUnit test, and the tests succeed. Next, we'll create the test method for the get unavailable books and here we can copy the test method for the get books for person 
because the two methods are turn out to be very, very similar. So we're going to copy that, and then we're going to be careful to get it between the curly braces, and then we'll paste. Now we'll change the name of the test method to test get unavailable books. Okay, now we just need to change these method calls down here to get unavailable books. So we'll change the first one manually, and then we'll copy and paste to change the other two. So we'll copy there, we'll paste it there, and paste it there. Then we're going to change, just to change this a little bit, we're going to check out B2 to P2. should have the same result in this method. And then we're going to use Quick Fix to create the empty method over in our My Library class. We'll save that, come back, and save this. So this method should be very familiar. We're setting up our test. At the beginning, all the books are available. So when we do our first get unavailable books, the size is 0. Then we check out one book, make sure that there's one unavailable book. Then we check out the second book. And now both books should be unavailable. So now we're going to go to the My Library class and finish the get unavailable books method. And for this, we're just going to copy the insides of the get available books method and paste it in, being careful about the curly braces. Then we just change one line of code. Instead of saying that get person equals null, we say get person not equal null, and that will get us unavailable books. Now we'll save, go back to the test class, run, run as, JUnit test. And again, everything works. Now the last two methods we need are two string methods for the My Library and the Book class. As we discussed before, the two string method should display a string that contains a brief description of the object. So now, let's write our first test method. We'll start with the book test. So we're going to write a test method for the two string method in the book class. So the test method is going to be public void test to string. And again, we're inside the book test method uh, class. Make a little space. And we can copy some code here to create a test book and a test person. So we're going to create War and Peace and Elvis. Then our first assert statement is going to be assert equals and we're going to say war and peace by unknown author. Remember, unknown author is the default. Semicolon, available. So we're saying this is going to be available since it hasn't been checked out yet. And then the actual is going to be b2 dot to string. So we're just saying that that's going to be the to string for b2. And now we're going to set b2 set person to p2, so now b2 is checked out to p2. We'll copy and paste the assert. But now instead of being available, it's going to say checked out to Elvis. And then we'll save it. So now we'll go to the book class and write the two string method. So it's public string, so it obviously returns a string, to string. We'll move it up so we have a little room to see. We're going to create a local string variable called available, and then we're going to set this using an if statement. And we're going to say if this dot get person is null equals null, then we're going to set available equal and the word available. Then we're going to say else, move this up, else we're going to say available equals checked out to space plus 
this get person get name. And then we're going to return this title, this get title plus the word by surrounded by spaces plus this get author plus a semicolon and a space plus the string available. So basically we're setting available depending on whether the book is checked out or not and then we're just returning the title, the word by, the author, a semicolon and then what's in the local variable called available. So we'll save this, we'll go back to our book test class and we'll run the test, so we'll go run as JUnit test and it succeeds. Finally, let's write the toString method for the MyLibrary class. Now, the MyLibrary class could contain lots of books and lots of people, so it's not practical to include all of the detail in the toString method. So we'll just include a summary of the object as follows. So we'll go down to the below the last method, make sure we're in the right place with the curly braces. Then it's public void test to string. We're just going to run the setup method and the add items method to get our test bed set up. Then we're just going to do one assert statement, assert equals quote test colon, which is the name of our my library object, two books semicolon two people period. So that's what we want the to string method to do. And then it's going to equal the ML to string. And we'll save. Then we'll go back to the my library class. Again make sure we're at the after the last method and it's public string to string and we're going to return this get name plus quote colon space plus this get books dot size which is the number of books plus quote space books semicolon space plus this get people dot size plus quote people period and we'll save that now we'll go back to the my library test run run as j unit test and it passes at this point we have a set of classes that can create and manage a personal library, sort of. We've got the back-end tools, but we don't have a way to use them. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to write a standalone Java program that uses our classes. This is the end of Lesson 15. I'm Mark Dexter saying so long for now.